Pass it me. Go in, get warm, get yourself something to eat. I've got a chore to the finish. Now, boy, are you sure that you can skin Grizz? That's as fast as you can find him. <laughs> Everybody. Hello. Hope your weekend's going okay. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> We've been away from the uh, internet for a few days, busy because we were processing a deer that he got. Yeah. So, yes, we do Opening our own morning, yep. My hunt was over in one hour. I had seven days, and in one hour it was done. <laughs> so. But sometimes it gets done in a hurry. Sometimes it takes all seven days, and even after seven days, you just don't get it. Yeah. Speaking of predators and hunting. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I hope you all enjoyed the opening scene from Jeremiah Johnson, because that is my absolute best scene of the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we won't get busted on copyright. No, we anyway, won't. Anyway, um, the reason we do this is this is not to get back at anybody. This is not to ruin a man's reputation. This is not uh, a, you know, vendetta type deal. Um this is to warn all of our friends and family in the XJW community. And, you know, we care about you guys deeply. And I know, you know, there's been a lot going on on Facebook. And so we're finally going to speak up and say something because we've just been sitting back and observing and investigating and researching. And I think the time has come for us to yeah. speak up. You know, and being a hunter and being out in the woods, when you're after a particular game, you know how your game's going to react. You know certain details um, about the game you're after. And sometimes you may see the game in a distance. And a lot of times that requires being patient to making sure that your game is going to present the absolute target you need to bring home the game. And with things that have happened on Facebook, Kim and I have been the victims of several attacks due to some things going on. And we've remained silent because we're waiting for the game to present itself. And it has done that. So now I'm going to take my shot. And uh, like Kim says, we're not doing this to be vindictive, but we're doing it to warn the community that there is a con artist among us. A predator. A predator. Exactly. Yeah. And we're not going to mention his name in the video because we don't want to be sued for slander. But, but, we, uh, but we can use his um, fake we, name, right? Yes, we can use his Facebook fake name. You may know him as Johnny. Or JW Misfit. That's right, yeah. buddy. I found out who you are. The thing about it wanting to expose someone else and ruin their reputation is you better make sure there's no skeletons in your own closet. Well, there again, when you set out to destroy a man's reputation, you better be prepared to get yours destroyed too. Yeah. Or, okay. or exposed. Now, first we're going to say that we are not defending or accusing anyone, you know, because there has been a lot going on. But we want to give a little bit of background. Um... There was several on Facebook that were wanting to expose a man for someone may feel was questionable behavior. And uh, Johnny, JW Misfit, was Alice after us to try to expose this person, you know, for private things that went on between consenting adults. 
You know, yeah. what they do in the privacy in front of their computer as consenting adults all over 18 is their business. It is not the Facebook's community's right. business of what goes on in these situations. And that's why we took our stand on that. To remain silent. Yeah. To wait and see what's going to be fully exposed, if anything at all. Um, but I will let the community know why I kept my tongue silent. I had a few conversations with um, Misfit, Misfit Johnny. Johnny, and I really became very suspicious when, through a couple of those conversations, he started saying, no, you let me tell you how this is going to go. Let me explain a few things to you, Mike. This is how this is going to go down. Either you stand with me or you stand against me. Right there, I, I backed off and I started to watch, listen, and observe. Because those were words that I did not want to hear. He called me wanting my opinion on how this should be handled. And I simply said, let it go. Because it's too easy to manipulate words. On Facebook, it's too easy to manipulate photographs. On Facebook, we live in a cyber world. Anything can be manipulated. I mean, I could be talking and just do this. And somebody could take that picture, screenshot, and put a penis in my mouth and say, See, Mike's a cocksucker. I have the proof. It's just that easy to manipulate in this electronic cyber world. So my best counsel was, let it go. Let's or, wait and see what happens. Or let the people involved or the so-called victims contact the authorities. Yeah. It, now, what we did is since we are members of a legal um, kind of like club prepaid, you know, type deal, uh, we called our lawyer and discussed this matter with him because we wanted the legal aspect of it. And he basically said that if there is no proof of any actual contact with a child or that this person was even talking to a child, it's no one's business. There is no legal, you know, action that can be taken. Right. And, you know, as long as all these people were over 18. So that's when it's like, okay, you know, at least we know that much, you know. Yeah. But, and we were going to let this go, but apparently here recently, even though this person has left Facebook, they are now calling our friends and basically bashing us still behind our backs, you know, calling us hypocrites and everything else and still trying to cause trouble. So yeah. I had two, I had uh, two other more comments I oh, wanted to sorry. make. So <laughs> sorry. I, I know, know you want to ramble on, but, <gasps> it, but there was also just so that this JW misfit understands there were two other things, two other problems that I had with what you were trying to do. The second problem I had was the fact that you were going after one of the three participants. You weren't bad-mouthing the women that were involved. You weren't calling them every bad name in the book like you were the male victim. See, that's the herd mentality. You see it in nature when you have a bull elk fighting another bull elk for the prize harem. You see it in the deer. This is the herd mentality that's at work here. Well, I'm going to take down the guy that's having sex with two women so that I can mentally put myself in that spot. That's the herd mentality. I see it every time I see something like this going on. And you don't think so? Email Mark and Cora because I had this discussion with them a while back. The other thing, the other problem that I had with this whole thing was is that one of the other persons that was doing the bad mouthing took one of our posts and manipulated it, screenshot, turned it right back at us and said, well, how do you explain this? Right there and then, you totally lost all your credibility All your credibility when you did that to me. If you could do that within just a few minutes to one of our comments. Then what yeah. could you do with someone else's post months ago? See, that's when you lost any support from Kim and I. Because one of your own members that was on this hate group took one of my, mine and Kim's, my and Kim's posts and reworded it. The problem made, the problem with it is when it came back, what was posted came back in red. Yeah, so what we, had been changed. So we knew red. immediately what had been changed. So 
if you wanted our support, that right there killed the deal. Yeah. See, you made several mistakes when you tried to get us to support this vindictive yeah. matter. Okay, so enough of all of what's been going on on Facebook, which has been a big enough soap opera. Um, but we want to get back to this predator, and we do know his real name now. We yep. know quite a bit about him. Uh, it's all over. There's quite a bit of him on the Internet. Um, most of the stuff he told us was exaggerated, and so we were able to track him down through his hobbies. And uh, we've come across several forums. We have not seen one single good thing said about this guy. Um, in one fact, of, one of the forums even says that he bashes women. Well, isn't that what he did on our Facebook group to yeah. Louise Good? He actually attacked her. And then on a private I mean, message between Kim and this person, JW Misfit, he also attacked her. And there's some other women, too, that he got very verbally abusive with. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to post the links down below. So you can read it for yourself. You know, and just go through the whole investigative thing, what we've done. And since we did talk to him on the phone, we did recognize the voice. So there is yeah. a blog radio program, you know, that he did an interview on. Um, but there's a blog here, and I just wanted to cover some of this stuff. Now, now keep in mind, this is what other people are saying that have nothing to do with the, with the XJW community. These are people that are involved in raising snakes. Yes. Pythons. And it appears that what this person does is they go on Facebook and they get into like a little group, you know, like he's been banned from a lot of the snake groups. So, you know, he's, he's found our XJW he, he community. He found another area that he could predator. <laughs> and he gets friends with everybody and he gets kind of like a following. Well, then he gets people starting to buy his um, water-cooled computers and snakes from him. And, oh, boy, that just opens a whole nother can of worms. Oh, yeah. You know, I guess there's several people looking for him. And they say and this is why he won't show his face or his real name yes, because they're looking for him. In fact, when I had a conversation with him, I said the same thing. Then if you feel so strongly about exposing what's going on, then get in front of the camera and do your own video. Oh, I can't do that. I can't, you know, there there are legal things involved. And in fact, he just called someone two nights ago and spent two hours on the phone. And the person he talked to suggested the same thing. If you feel so strongly, then get in front of the YouTube camera and make a video about it and expose it. He won't do it. You know why? Well, we're going to expose why. Yeah. So I found this blog on Google Plus and, uh, you know, they they start talking about this person and they said he's supposedly a millionaire that builds these sweet rigs and, you know, loves the PC mod world and all his loyal fans and members, right? What if I was to tell you this is a huge law lie? Now, like I said, I am reading this person's blog. This is not coming this from is Tim not and I. Us. This is coming from somebody who we yeah. assume's never been a Jehovah Witness, but someone who's in the snake business world. This yeah, is where this computers. is coming from. Yeah. And, yeah, and in computers. Yeah. So it says, um, the truth needs to come out about, they gave his name, the scammer, <laughs> in his last name, has been a professional scam artist for years. He has made a reputation in the snake business for being not, being the biggest and baddest snake breeder, but the biggest and baddest asshole. Yeah, he has screwed over more people than we could ever imagine. Okay, so then he goes on to describe, you know, Apparently, this person actually worked for him. He was like his computer expert that would help him build these special, you know, mod computers, okay? Um, now, here's, here's some facts about this person. He yeah. lives in a home owned by his mother. Now, this person on the very first phone call let me know that he, was, that he had money. He's got a lot of money. So now this blog goes on to say, ever hear of a millionaire that doesn't own his own house? And also lives in a double wide. Dang, bells should be going off. Yeah. Uh, this person, like I said, we're not going to use his name, is a 300 plus pound couch potato that sits on Facebook all day scamming people and occasionally watches a movie. He never mods a PC because he doesn't know how. I have been doing all his videos, design work, etc. for over a year. It took him that long to learn Windows Movie Maker and supply the last few videos because I left. Now, on recent news, now this is the scam he was doing on their group. This person's wife never had cancer. 
In fact, now, she hasn't been to a doctor in years. Yeah, now isn't it er interesting that just before this person left Facebook, he was crying that I think his mom had cancer and all of his friends have left him. Yeah. See, that's yeah. part of the scam. A family member gets cancer, so you feel sorry for him. Yeah. Okay, this is not even all of it. And he goes into some more. I have a lot more and we'll post soon. But please stay away from this guy. He left Facebook for a reason. And that was not because of cancer issues, but because he caught drift of people catching on to his latest scam. Now, this is not about the current Facebook that right. was going on in the XJW community. This is what was going on in the monster in the snake, snake world. world. Yeah. And, and yeah. you can see this guy's picture on what's it called? Um, Horrorpunks.com. Come on. Yeah. And like I said, I'll put the links down below. Now, this person commented to this blog that was on Google+. Earlier. Plus. Yeah, it says, we keep trying to get in touch with him to ask for our computer or the $6,500 we paid for those. No luck. No snake, no computer, no refund, no contract whatsoever. So you aren't really doing him a favor getting him a postal money order like he requests. You are making it so he can keep your money and give you nothing in return and possibly so he can tell all sorts of lies on you like you owe him money. And that's what he's doing now. He's going around. See, he left Facebook. I mean, we 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 got a we got the uh, we captured his last post. Goodbye, I'm gone forever. This was, what, a week a week or two ago? A couple of weeks ago. But now he's calling people like Tony Prime, and now he's bad-mouthing us, but he's also still trying to get some YouTuber to do this video against some other guy's conduct. That's real hypocritical, dude. you got three felonies against you, and you're scamming people, and you've been exposed. Who's the hypocrite here? Well, I was just about to read this from yeah. this person. It says, I lived on blankety blanks property for over 10 years if you need or want dirt or help in prosecuting him i can provide info up to november of 2011 that's only two years ago people the guy nearly ruined my life he has three felony convictions and i was the website graphic design it guy for monster snakes forums and monster state snakes forever um, then he goes on to bash him, so I won't read that. I helped him build his personal machines. He was too dumb to even set his own RAM timing. So this apparently seems to be the person that was building his computers for him. Uh, then he says, P.S. The guy's a psychopath. Be careful. The first crime ever was strong arm art. Ro Strong, Strong arm, arm robbery, robbery in Illinois. Second was felon in possession of firearm. Third was felony mail fraud. And like I said, you know, we're we going to post the link down below so you can read it, come to your own conclusions. Yeah, because we're not going to say, you know, we don't know, you know, this is hearsay. This is hearsay on our part. You know, this is just people posting this. But what we're saying is please just be very careful. And you don't know who is behind the computer screen of who you're dealing with. You know, be careful because there is scam artists out there who are trying everything. And please, you know, before you give someone any money and absolute devotion or follow them, please find out who you're dealing yeah. with. You know, the thing is, is for the amount of times that he was on Facebook, um, everything that's being described in this other blog mirrors exactly what was happening on our own XJW community Facebook accounts. Yeah, Everything is just a mirror image. He yeah. just decided, and I guess I have to take a little bit of responsibility because he first got introduced to this community through um, the series that Kim and I did, uh, Halloween Watchtower Style, because yeah. that's when he first contacted me is when he saw that series of videos. Yeah, that we and had done. apparently and then, him and his family are into the paranormal, international paranormal yeah. normal investigations also, you know, which yeah. we're not saying nope, is that, wrong one way fine. or another. But, you know, we feel stupid for being taken in. And, you know, we try to trust everybody and well, be friends with everybody. Kim will tell and, you, and this hurts. This really yeah. hurts us. And Kim will tell you that I'm too trusting to a fault. Yeah. To a fault. Yeah, I, and we're I just really as am. guilty as trusting this guy, and we're just so thankful that, you know, we did not. I was actually thinking of asking him, you know, to build us a computer, you know, yeah. and ask for prices because we were starting to be in the market for a computer, and I'm just so glad that we didn't. Yeah. But we ended up buying a laptop anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But please. Be careful. At this point, 
there has been so much hate and so much discontent spread among some of the ex paranoia, Jay distrust, yes. and there there's reason for that. Yeah. Sometimes when a person wants to stir the shit pot, they're gonna be made to lick the spoon. And um, all I can say is, J.W. Misfit, you got found out, you've been ex exposed. Please go away before you do any more harm to this community. Because Kim told you in a private message that Kim and I are already trying to pick up the damage and repair what you have already done to this community. Because Kim and I were on to you a while back. As soon as you said what you said to me, let me tell you how this is going to go. I knew exactly what was going on. I just sat back and watched and tried to pick up the damaged pieces. And we'll probably be trying to help fix this community for a while. So we're asking, please, friends, let the hate, let the bitterness go. What we have here in this community is something that should be precious to us. And we should not allow it to destroy our friendships like what this apparently has done. Yeah. So please. And unfortunately, you know, there was quite a few that I had to unfriend because it got so nasty. Yeah, it got very, very nasty and towards for those, Kim and I personally because of what this guy was yeah. doing. And so for those, you know, that that happened to, I'm sorry it came to this, you know, and I hope you understand that this, you yeah. know, but at the same time, it's not irreparable. Yeah. If you just let love take over and try to let the hate go, this can be fixed. Yeah. And we can move on as good, happy people with a strong ex-Jehovah Witness community. We have to remember that the enemy is the, is the Watchtower Society or now JW.org. Those people are the enemy. They're the ones that are holding captive our families. Yeah. And, and it's that's not, where our focus should be. And it's not the individual witnesses we're upset no. with. It's the hierarchy. But, you know. And the influence that they have on people. Yeah. And as many of you know that I, we can forgive people. Oh, and yeah. we can be friends with them again. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I guess that's all we have to say about that, huh? Yeah. Boy. Well, all right. And then, well, just in going. In closing, Kim and I do realize that this video is probably going to um, maybe stir more. some more controversy. That's not our intent by any means. We, we're doing this to expose to the community that there is a con artist, or has been, and still is, since he's calling other uh, YouTubers to get this done. He's still among us, and he's still preying upon us. We yeah. need to... We So I'm... I'm cutting the head off the snake right now. What you folks decide to do from here on out is your business. Yeah. But this is all we're going to say about this, and this is the extent we're going to get involved because we have more important things to do with our lives than to deal with this knucklehead. Yeah. So have a great weekend, Bye. everybody.